So there's no rest for the wicked. I am on a call out now. This morning, what is the time? Just gone half past seven. We're just having a local call here in the Atlantic seaboard in Fresno. And apparently there's a large black and yellow spotted snake, um, which sounds like a puff adder. Wouldn't be unusual to have a puff adder in this area. So you can see obviously there's Signal Hill after in Cape Town. So we're right on the base of the mountain. So let's get after it and see if the snake's still around once I get there. Cool, so we just arrived at the site. Let's get our gear together and try and not drop my phone every two minutes, which is a problem. But we're just gonna grab the tongs and the hook stick. we can get going and done and let's see what our situation is like how's it man yeah good life. yeah here for the snake yeah i see it okay it's still there yeah okay how am i getting inside division second gate second gate use the second gate. this yeah How's it, man? Good, brother. Still there? Yes, still. You know what snake it is? I don't know. <laughs> is it a uh, venomous? Puff adder. Very dangerous snake. Can we just move the bag? Yeah, it's alright. There we go. So, the amazing part is. So the amazing part is about these animals in Cape Town, we're in a completely closed off area. You can see there's a really large puff adder just sitting in this garden. You can have a look. It's a really closed off area. I have no idea how the snake would have got in here in the first place. But we're going to pull it out gently and we'll pop it in the tube. Okay, this is going to be easy. Yeah, so we got the tube here. So we put the snake in. How's it? Hey, how are you doing? Oh, sorry, hang on. Did you get it? No, it's still here. It's a really large puff adder. What is it? It's a puff adder. Puff adder? Puff adder, yeah. It's a really big puff adder. You can just, just see it in the bushes here. So I'm just going to pull it out gently. Oh, it's an enormous puff adder, actually. I have no idea how it would have gotten into the garden here. <laughs> yeah, it's... An enormous puff adder. So we just <laughs> we're just gonna try and get into the tube here. It's very cold to the touch. Obviously, it hasn't warmed up yet in the heat. Usually, they go straight in to my tube, but not today. I just got to get the head in there here, have a good look at it. Sure. Yeah, this is a big adult puff adder. It's come off the mountain. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's the suburbs are no place for a snake like this. There we go, we got it in here. You can see they're relatively calm. I mean, he didn't, I mean, she, this is a big female. It made no attempt to bite or anything like that. And there we go. Safety secured. And then all I'm going to do is I'll take it up to the back of the mountain there um, and just release it, obviously, further away from the houses and that sort of thing. Oh, some excitement for a Monday morning, hey? Yeah. <laughs> just on the back of the mountain here. So it's going to be a nice quick one, which we like to do. Getting the snake secured, caught, and released back into the mountain sort of all within 10 minutes, which is great. You can see I'm just walking on the back of Table Mountain here. And this is a popular sort of area for hikers and that sort of thing. So I'm going way off the trail and we're gonna go up the mountain, just give it a safe little spot. 
where it hopefully won't come down and visit in the gardens. The security guard was telling me the night shift guy actually saw the snake come down the road. He tried to sort of poke it with a stick and it landed up squeezing under that gate and that's obviously how it landed up in that house. But yeah, this looks like a good enough spot. We'll just head up to that grass line there and then we're going to release it. Okay, so we just found a safe spot to just release this puffeter. So we're going to do just that. Open it up. Well, let's just get this puffeter out of here. Let's see, she's really, really big. She only just fits in my tube. Just how enormous you can see just how enormous the snake is. So I'm just going to gently pick it up with the tongs here. I mean the hook. And we're just going to release this beautiful puff at her and just let her go right into the grass and in the mountains. She's a little bit hesitant, but we're just going to coerce her just to move off from the grass so she can go find a safe spot to be. Success story of removing a beautiful puff at her just before 9 o'clock in the morning. Awesome.